Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hartford Varsity Boys in action against the Linden Vikings. Lay it's all with call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera, sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Here's our opening tip. Controlled by Hazen. Boys come in with a record of 7-1, their last game down in Thetford, a loss. Their first one, obviously, of the season by a score of 47-42. Looking to get back on their winning ways. Rebard underneath. Tyler Rebard puts Hazen on the board to zip. Linden looking to work inside. Baker gets that one away. Baker pass over Rebard. Can't get a follow-up. The Prez underneath, working hard. Still nothing there, rebound Vikings. Linden coached by a Hazen alumnus, Eli Appleton, his rookie season coaching. Graduated class of 2000, uh, 2013. Played for Coach Hill. Up underneath, nothing going for the Vikings. Talked to uh, Aaron before the game. And Mixture of pride and competitiveness, of course. He's happy to see a former player grow into the coaching ranks. X-Man with the three. And says he will root hard for him every game but this one. Mentor against, or student against teacher is what I'm trying to say. Shot doesn't go. Hazen pushes. X-Man. Blocked, I guess, is what they're going to call that. Up underneath. No shot. Foul on the floor. There's Ethan Lucier with the drive. Foul called on Jaden Baker. Linden will inbounds underneath their own basket. 6.15 left to go in the first. Cats up 5-zip. Gets it back. That's throw kill to Wheeler. And here's Lucier. Back over. Thrill kill gets Tyler, knocks that one away. Nice pass. The X-Man. And Cats jump out to a 7-0 lead. 5.56, let's go into first. Coach Appleton wants a timeout to talk things over. So yeah, the boys got off to a real hot start. Uh, had won their first seven and then traveled down to Thetford uh, last Wednesday, the 11th. And uh, Thetford played some really good D. We had a shot to win it at the end, but didn't get it. And uh, ended up coming out on the losing end of it 47-42. But we have been on fire throughout. Uh, Thetford did play some great defense though, because we came in averaging 74 points a game, held us to 42. We had held our opponents to 36 points average. Thetford put up 47. So, let's see what happens. Vikings looking to get on the board. It's Lucia. Inside, Gavin Williams puts a floater, doesn't go. X-Man, control, pass over, Moody, that one's off, rebound, Rebard. Tried to knock it off a Vikings player. Thrill kill, inside. Gets it to Lucier. Back out, here's Wheeler. Pass over, far side. Get Williams, nowhere to go with it. Hayes and D playing tough. Long shot, drains it. That was Austin Wheeler with the three. Hayes lets the ball go out of bounds. Turnover to the Vikings. 
Ethan Lucier inside. Blocking foul called on Brendan Moody. We'll send Ethan Lucier to the line. Speaking of Lucier, I want to thank John Lucier for filling in this past Saturday for me for the girls' game. Shorts on that one. And I think John covered the uh, misses on both free throws, but follow up is Wheeler. As now it's a two point game all of a sudden with 4.50 left to go. I want to say John covered one other game for me too when I uh, was down in Boston last week taking Lydia to a gymnastics meet. Nice meet down at Harvard. Downtown, speaking of downtown, X Man, two three pointers. He's in Dublin up London right now, 10 5, 4.33 left to go. Drive, rebound, short shot, doesn't go. Foul called on Austin Wheeler with authority. I did not get to pick out which official is which, so I wish I had done that. I liked our official senator, Sam Fontaine and Jim Francis. I have no idea which one is which. Moody. Open for the three short. Mitchett follows it up. The Prez tips it back. Moody from the foul line. Still off. Rebound goes to Gavin Williams. Williams shakes and bakes. Pass over. Back outside. Lucier wants to go in against Baker. Drops it to Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill takes a three. They're going to give him three or two. They're going to give him two. They get a foot on the line. Close. 10 7. Linden. Coming up tough here. There's a three. Nothing there. Tyler leads up for Baker. Shot and the foul. I love the way Jaden can kind of hang in the air like that. Foul called on Gavin Williams, his first. 12-7, your score. Ba Baker with a chance to make the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. In and out, rebound. Mitchell up, tips it in. Was that Lincoln or was it Tyler? They were both sort of in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give it to Lincoln because I think it might have been Lincoln, but it could have been Tyler. I don't know. There's a basket by Logan Wheeler. Uh, those are two of the mystery points. I'll find out from Karen at halftime. I don't want to credit the wrong guy. Or not credit the right guy. Take away. Linden, wide open underneath. Wheeler. 14-11, three-point game. Nice ball game going here tonight at the Den. Inside, the Prez. Mitchell with that one. Linden, looking to work. Thrail kill, pass out. Williams, back over to Thrail kill. There's Wheeler. Travel. In comes Gabe. Mitchell. Revard turned around inside. Can't get it to go. Mitchell back. X man. Short. Rebound. Wheeler skied up for that one. Comes Lucia. Puts up a soft shot, doesn't go. Comes X. Beautiful pass inside. Mitchell can't get that one to drop. Tyler. And we've got a foul called on Tyler with the 
push. 16-11, five point lead for the Cats. Spirited first quarter here, 130 left. Shot from outside, hits nothing but air. Pass up, Baker. Jaden Baker, four points for the senior. Makes it a seven point lead with 107 left in the first. Gabe with the steal and the hoop. Gabe Mitchin makes his presence felt just after checking in. Lead back up to nine. Wheeler, far side, Mitch it on him. Gets it to Williams. Williams with X, playing D. Nice pass, beautiful pass, beautiful cut. Austin Wheeler, nine points for the senior. Fans wanted a foul on, a foul call for Mitch when he went up, didn't get it, but. Tyler gets that one. That one called on Logan Wheeler, his first. 24.8 seconds, rebound at the line. Tyler, three points. And an eight point lead for the Cats. Logan Wheeler checks out. In goes Wyatt Mason. Jaden comes out. I think Moody went back in. Rebard sinks both his free throws. 24 seconds left. 22-13, your score. Inside, throws up a shot, doesn't go. A lot of action going on inside here. Thrill kill. Throw kill called on a foul there. 22-13, once again, 13.7 left. X, over to Moody. Moody puts up a three, short. Three seconds left, somebody's gonna have to hurry. From half court, doesn't go. Lucia throws up a prayer, and at the end of the first, it's 22-13. Great game here tonight between your Hayes and Union Wildcats and the Linden Vikings here on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable down, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hayes and Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. Danny on camera, Lance Hall with the call. Good to be back up here at the top of the bleachers after a little bit of time off. Had a busy early December, that's for sure. So we'll go start the second here. Oh, do I have any useless trivia tonight, Danny? I do, I do. It's the third Monday in January. It's Blue Monday. It's, all, it's also Elementary School Teacher Day, which, you know, I had a, a, a bunch of really, really great elementary school teachers. Uh, moved here to Hardwick. I had Mrs. Spear. and Mr. Ryan. Uh, Mrs. Thompson for English. She always scared the heck out of me. Linden can't get it to drop. Gabe, pass inside. Tyler wanted to take a shot from the foul line. Three kill got in his face. Got a hand up. X direct in traffic. Pass inside. Turn around. Nice feed from Brendan Moody to Tyler Reverd. Six points for the senior. Long shot, short, 
Rebound. Put back. Doesn't go. X-Man with the rebound. Tyler. Soft shot. Beautiful. And Coach Eli Appleton wants a timeout. So let's see, the boys will be playing Harwood this coming Friday. That game was supposed to be at Harwood, but I heard their gym, something, they had some issues with their gym. So it got moved to a home game. So we'll be back here on Friday, uh, tip off at 5.30 and 7. Girls will be traveling to Richford. Uh, girls got a big win the other Saturday against Winooski, 66-15. So they are really, I think they're like 8-1 and one right now or something like that, playing really well. So it's been great to be a Hazen Wildcat so far this season here at the Den. Doesn't go. Hazen. Tyler underneath, Revard. Eight points for Tyler Revard. 28-13, your score, six and a half. Long shot, doesn't go for Linden. Here's Moody. Lucier closed really fast on X over there on that pass. Moody, a three-pointer from the parking lot. That comes up short. Girls did a nice job on the anthem tonight. We had a couple of members of Hazen Select Chorus. It's nice to have live anthem singers out here. We had one game back there in December. We couldn't get the anthem going. Nobody was here to sing it. I thought I was going to have to sing it for a minute. Didn't want that to happen. Williams comes out. Gets a rest. I believe it's Wyatt Mason. And this is Julian Thrailkill with the ball. Whistle. Gabriel Mitchell called on the foul. Mason. Oh. Ryan the Little Lion getting a little rambunctious underneath there on the D. And that will send Wyatt Mason, a sophomore. <laughs> Calmly sinks his first one. It's a 28-14. 5.47 left to go in the first half. And he makes his second one. Jaden Baker inside. May, uh, Morrison gets it to Gabe Mitchett. Back out. Baker over here to X. Cross court. Looking inside. Nothing there. Mitchett pass over. Baker pops a three. Does not drop. Mitchett save back in. X. He'll take the three. Drop, wow. When it, when it rains, it pours. X with three threes in the first half, and that one just stopped dead on the hoop and then kind of dropped in, just like he planned it. Nice spin move. Back out, Mason. Short. Rebound, X-Man. Fights a wheeler for it. And we're going to have a foul. Wheeler called on the foul. Morrison comes out. In the corner, Moody back out, X-Man. Moody drops it. Rain in threes here at the Den tonight, 34-15. Threlkill couldn't quite handle that pass. X 
Send turn off the glass. Beautiful. X-Man. 13 points in the first half. Baseline. Got a foul called. Foul called on Gabe Mitchin. Tyler going to check back in. Gabe comes out. Brody Mosher goes in and Julian Thrailkill out. Linden lurking to work inside. Here's Wheeler. Gets it over to Mosher. Mosher drops it in to Williams. Be shooting one and one, so that's her uh, 17 foul. Gavin Williams, a senior for the Vikings. Makes his first one. Makes his second one. Coach Appleton has his team practicing free throws. I'll bet you they're in there every morning at 6, and none of them leave until they've made 100 in a row. 3.50. Left to go here in the first cat, half. Cats up 36-17. Baker, long three, way off. The Prez calls that one down. Inside, Tyler, short shot, doesn't get throw. Tyler back up the rebound, doesn't go. Baker, let's pull it down, X-Man. Why not? Let him take threes, he's making them. Cats with a lot of second and third chances here. Sully Laflamme now. X-Man, doesn't drop. Cats again. Running a lot of time as well. Sully takes a three, doesn't drop. Linden gets the rebound. You don't, you don't see the team taking the threes, getting that many rebounds that often like that. Chandler defense goes up now. And that's going to be a foul on the Prez. Coach Hill can't believe it. First shot drops, it's Austin Wheeler. 10 points, unofficially. Make it 11, great, for, I, I'm, I am thoroughly impressed with the Linden Vikings free throw prowess. LaFlem back, wanted to go back inside to Tyler, taken away by Wheeler. Wheeler long pass up. Tyler, over to X. LaFlem, Sully LaFlem. Freshman, as the crowd lets them know it. Cats up by 20, 39-19. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Austin Wheeler, his second. 152 left to go here in the first half. Sully inside. Lincoln back out. X. X man. Four threes. Makes it 42-19. Got 
drive inside. Nope, they're going to take a three of their own. Not going to make that pass up ahead. Baker, watch him hang. All right, Jaden Baker, six points, 44-19. Vikings have nothing to answer. It's blocked. Tyler Rebard with the block. Vikings just can't answer this uh, Wildcat attack. Got a whistle here. Foul called on Mosher. Uh, Vikings now in a bonus as well, so we'll be shooting one and one. So it's only 54.1 left in the half, so send Rebard to the line. Fifty seconds left in the half. Like uh, Wildcats up 44-19. Lusher, Ethan Lusher, working against Baker. There's a three from the baseball diamond by Gavin Williams. Pitcher's mound right there. Nice follow up. Logan Wheeler. Baker, the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. Answers right back. 47-21. 24 seconds left to go in the first half. Three-pointer taken by Moshe Short. Nine seconds. We got time. Baker. Misses on that one. Rebound. Morrison. Ryan, the little lion. Makes it a 49-21 score at the end of the first half as the Cats in control now over the Linden Vikings. This is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV. Channel 1080 on the cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.actv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera. We'll be back in time for the second half. All right, we're less than a minute away from the resum re resuming play here is what I'm trying to say here at the Wildcats then here at Hayes Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. It is your Hayes Union University boys taking on the Linden Vikings tonight. Currently leading by a score of 49 to 21. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera tonight. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Uh, official point totals for the Wildcats. We have Brendan Moody with three. Jaden Baker with nine. Sally LaFlem with three. Xavier Hill with 16. Tyler Rivard with 14, Gabe Mitchell with two, Ryan Morrison with two, and those are straight from the scorer's book at the scorer's table, so it doesn't get any more official than that. Rivard underneath, shot in a foul. Rivard looking to complete the three-point play. Sinks it. 52-21, your score. Here's Wheeler. Trying to dish it to Lucia. Nobody there. Gets it over here in the corner. Thrill kill. Back with it was Wheeler. Out of bounds. Cats will control. This rivalry started back in 1947. We played 98 games. Hazen leads overall 59 to 39. Home records, we've sort of owned them, 32-16. Over in Linden, it's been a little bit closer. 26-22 lead game-wise over there. First game played back in 1947. Baker, over to Brendan. Moody. Doesn't drop underneath the Prez. Back up, doesn't go. Vikings come out. Once again, this game also matches student against teacher in his rookie season at the helm of the Linden Vikings is Eli Appleton, a 2013 alumnus of Hazen Union, played for Coach Hill.
X-Man short on that one. X-Man had four three, uh, yeah, four three pointers in the first half. Uh, record, game record, Dan Judkins had 11 against Richford back in 2005. Andrew Demers nine against Danville back in 2013. Isaiah Baker with eight a couple of times and then a whole slew of players with seven. Rebard underneath. Jaden Baker. Just barely keeping it in over there on the far line. That's his, uh, Gavin Williams. Williams drives, puts up a floater. Does everything but drop. X-Man up ahead, Baker looking underneath. Rivard cuts through a bunch of players. Tyler, so strong. 56-21. Save back in. That's Tyler. Baker cross court. Moody was wide open. A nice pass inside. Lincoln Mitchell with the turnaround. Tried, tried the sky hook almost. Nice stop move. They call X on a foul. Did they give him the point? No, they didn't give him the point, or else we'd be ha we'd have the ball, I guess. I guess he called it on the floor. Backcourt. So nice little three-game homestand here for the Cats. Uh, we'll play Harwood Friday night. Next Wednesday we're playing Thetford. Then they go on the road for four. Then back home for two. Then back on the road for two. And then we finish up Thursday the 23rd of February uh, against Randolph. That'll be senior night. Jaden Baker, Tyler Rivard, and Lincoln Mitchett are three seniors. Baker over to the X. Swings it to Moody. Moody takes a three-pointer from the stands. Doesn't go. Crowd wanted a travel call, but referee's going to call a foul on Brendan Moody, his third. Gavin Williams. Moody on him, switches out inside. Nice pass inside, block. Tyler with the block. And they're going to call Wheeler on a foul. And in check Speckett Bailey. And Logan Wheeler, the freshman, comes out. I didn't realize he was a freshman. Kid plays pretty good. Five points tonight. It's quick. I think he's going to be exciting as he gains a little bit more experience. Inside, Baker, turn around, Jaden Baker. 13 points now for the senior. 58-21, your score. That was uh, Wheeler coming across, foul called. On uh, Lincoln Mitchett, his second. 3.54 left to go in the third, Cats up 58-21. And one of those player control moving screens. I don't know. I'd have to have the big red machine up here to explain that one to me. I still don't quite get that one. Baker inside. Rivard turn around. Tyler. 21 points for Tyler Rivard tonight. 60-21 your score.
Williams drive. Shot counts and the foul for Gavin Williams. Gabe, the big blue ox, goes in. Gabriel Mitchell to Lincoln, the Prez out. Gavin Williams at the line, looking to complete the three-point play and does. Knocked away, Tyler. And I thought it was a clean, I saw him hit nothing but ball. They're calling Tyler on the foul. I mean, he might have caught his arm. Wheeler goes to the line. Tyler wasn't gonna give him the easy hoop though. 12 points now for the senior. Look at 13. Fantastic. Fantastic free throw shooting team are the Linden Vikings. I will commend Coach Appleton for that. Moody, three pointer from the cheap seats. Started down the cylinder, came back out. Ball on the floor. We're going to tie up. We're going to have possession arrow. We'll give the ball to the Linden Vikings. Here comes Lucier over Williams. And wants to go inside, save back out. Williams. Open for a moment, puts up the floater, doesn't go, rebound underneath with the rebound. X, nothing but air. Saved back in by Mitchett, over Moody, inside. Mitchett tries to get the shot, they're still battling. Bodies all over the place here. Moody comes up with it. We're gonna call a jump ball in the end. Possession here will give the ball to the Wildcats. As Wyatt Mason checks in. Number 15, Santino DiMartino. Out for the Vikings. Turn around, Tyler. Doesn't drop. Linden comes out with it. There's Lucier. Blocking foul. Foul called on Baker. His second is going to send Ethan Lucier to the line. Shooting two. That's the first miss that I can remember. And it was darn close at that. Them getting at the free throw line. Rolls in, shooters roll. X-Man. Over to Baker. Pass back, Gabe cut in. Foul called on Gavin Williams, his second. And Sully Laflem gets ready to check back in. Gabriel Mitchell at the line. Misses his first one. Brendan Moody out. Sully LaFleur in. And Gabe Mitchell's first, but Tyler with the turnaround can't go. Tyler's still going. Foul called. On Williams, his third. X on the inbounds. 141 left to go here in the third. 
Mitchin underneath. Gabe Mitchin, four points for the junior. 62-27. Three-pointer. Gavin Williams. Gives the Vikings crowd a little bit to cheer about here tonight. X on the outside. Wants to go inside maybe. He's going to make a cut. He's going to make a pass. Baker's going to shoot the three. The butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. Jaden Baker, 65-30. 48 seconds left to go here in the third. Turnaround shot. Nice shot. Austin Wheeler. X off the glass. His first points of the half. Second half, that is. He had 16 in the first half. There's Gavin Williams on the inbounds for the Vikings. Beckett Bailey gets it back to Lucier. Lucier with Mitchett on him. Cross court, Tyler knocks that one out of bounds. 23.4 left to go here in the third. Cats up 67-32. This will be Beckett Bailey on the inbounds. Gets it to Lucier. Over here on the near side, Gavin Williams. But nice pass inside. Nice ball fake. Shot and the foul by Austin Wheeler. Nice move to the hoop. Two, four, six, 17 points so far. Make it 18. Man, they, look, they make it look effortless, these free throws. Just effortless. 67-35, nine seconds left in the third. X-Man puts up the short shot. That's short, gets his own rebound, puts it back up again. X, 20 points. And at the end of three, it is your Hazy Union Wildcats up by a score of 69-35. to Cruising tonight. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Once again, Cats coming in with a record of 7-1. Uh, not letting the loss to Thetford. Last Wednesday bother him. <laughs> kind of smoking tonight. Um, let's see, basketball trivia is on this day in uh, 1966. Chicago was granted an NBA franchise to be called the Bulls. This is actually the third franchise that was in Chicago. The Chicago Stags played there from 1946 to 50. And then they had the Chicago Packers slash Zephyrs who were there after that. The Zephyrs moved out, went to Baltimore, then they went to D.C., first became the Bullets and are now known as the Washington Wizards. There's your basketball trivia for today. It's also National Fig Newton Day. I like Fig Newtons, but they kind of dry my throat out. you got to have something to drink with them, you know, but I love Fig Newtons. And, Danny, it's also National Nothing Day. If you just feel like doing nothing... Today's the day you can actually do it because it's National Nothing Day. I think that's what I'm going to do when I get home. I'm going to do nothing. We also missed it just uh, before the second half started. The crowd serenaded with Tyler Rebard with a happy birthday. So we'll wish Tyler a very happy birthday. And there's a three-pointer by Gavin Williams. So happy birthday, Tyler. That foul was called on Gavin Williams, his fourth. Cats will inbounds. Turn around, Ryan the Little Lion. Gets that one knocked away, and we're going to have a turnover here. Let's think about this. Rivalry goes back to 1947. Let's see what was happening in 1947. Uh, the first documented sighting of flying saucers. The average cost of a loaf of bread in 1947, the year that the, the Linden Vikings and the Hazen, what's this would have been the uh, Hardwick Academy Terriers back then. 
Uh, cost of a loaf of bread was 13 cents. Just imagine. Ryan the Little Lion wanted to feed Lincoln inside. Vikings sniff that one out. Baker almost with a steal. Drop over. And we have the charge called, as I like to call it, on Austin Wheeler. That's his fourth. Wheeler with 18 points. He's the top scorer unofficially, I believe. Three, six, eight, nine, yeah. Mitch it inside, misses. Rare miss inside tonight for Gabe. Here's Lucia. Pass under. Blocked out, Ryan, the little lion with the block. I've got to find out the book I got that out of. Goes in against a trio of white jerseys right there. Williams will go to the line. Foul called on the Prez, his third. <laughs> Nothing but nets. Morgan Mitchell checks in, Gabe out. Sinks the second one. Baker, Lucier on him. Inside cut, the Prez off the glass, doesn't drop. Back out, we'll line it up and try it again. 6-10 left. Morrison on the outside, Baker. Jaden Baker drops it inside. Morgan Mitchell wanted to get it to Lincoln. Back out, gets, his, gets the uh, loose ball though. Cats with a lot of second, third, fourth chances on some shots. We saw them do this earlier in the uh, half. They just kind of held on to it forever. Inside, doesn't drop, but we got the foul. And Ryan, the little lion, will go to the line. Let's see if he's been practicing his free throws. Hey, he has. Let's give Ryan the little lion some credits. Off on the second one. Moody. Three pointer. And Wyatt Mason did not have much place to go on that one. Moody bringing the ball up for the Cats as Liam Irkowitz gets ready to check in. Moody inside. Lincoln, the Prez, pass over. Back out, Sully LaFlemme. Second three-pointer of the night for the freshman. 76-40. LaFlemme breaks up that pass. Creates a turnover. Yerkowitz checks in. The Prez. Comes out. Yerkowitz with the drive off the glass. Lucier. Bodies on the floor. Foul called on Brendan Moody, his fourth. And that will send Lucier to the line with 428 left to go. Cats up 78 40.
off on his first one. Santino DiMartino in. Wyatt Mason and out for the Vikings. Slusher at the line. Sinks the second one. Moody brings the ball up for the Cats. 4.24 left to go in the game. Once again, we'll be back Friday night. And the Cats will be hosting Harwood. Turnaround doesn't go. Still battling underneath. Ball's all over the place. I believe the foul is going to be called on. Yeah, Ryan the Little Lion is going to send Brody Mosher to the line. Shooting two as the Cats are in a double bonus. Um, it's on this day in 1976. Peter Frampton. Frampton comes alive, came out. Basically, in 19... Everybody, everybody hits their free throws. Everybody hits their free throws. The Golden Vikings, one of the best free throw shooting teams I think I've seen. There is no such thing as a broadcaster jinx. It's just, you know... Just happened to miss that one. But these guys have shot the lights out from the free throw line, I'll tell you that much. Nice move to create the save by uh, Wheeler. DiMartino back out. Beckett Bailey. And not able to handle it is Ryan Hall. No relation. Uh, basically, in 1976, when, when Peter Frampton put out Frampton Comes Alive, you basically got that album in the mail, whether you wanted it or not. It just showed up on your doorstep, and, and you were required to, to play it. Uh, fabulous live album. Jergowitz. Four points for the sophomore, 80-42. Gavin Stratton in for the Cats. And Gavin quickly makes his presence known by drawing his first foul. And it's going to send Mosher to the line. Um, let's see, also on this day in 1974, the book Jaws was published. People are still afraid to go into the water. Mosher. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. I think it's what Coach Appleton has been saying for a while here. Going to need a bigger boat. Mosher. Excellent book, great movie, excellent book. Peter Benchley wrote it. Turn around, doesn't go. Back again, Ryan the Little Lion. Two fifty one left to go in the game. Cats will obviously push their record to eight and one. Once again hosting Harwood. This Friday. And then we host Thetford next Wednesday, the twenty fifth, here at the Den. See if they can avenge the loss down in Thetford last week. That should be a, a really good game, I think. A very good game. Then they go on the road at U32, at Randolph, at Spalding, at PA, before getting Montpelier, which will be an excellent game here on Friday, February 10th, and then Wednesday, February 15th. It's Lamoille here at the Den. These are all boys' games. Mosher shooting two. Foul called on Liam Jerkowitz. Off on that one. Laflamme underneath. Oh, wide open was uh, Morrison, but going in there to break it up was Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill with the block on that one.
Jerkowitz back in. Underneath, Ryan Morrison hooping the foul. 2.10 left. Morrison will go to the line to complete the three-point play. Ryan didn't get the free throw, but got the follow-up, so we'll give him the miss on the free throw because he did follow his shot, get the rebound, and put the shot in. But you still got to make 50 in a row before you can leave, and you got to be in here at 6.30 tomorrow morning, okay? Foul called on Morrison, his third. Sends Ryan Hall to the line. Second one drops. 86 46, 155 left. Steal. Beckett Bailey goes, uh, doesn't want to go coast to coast. Here comes Gavin Stratton. Pass over Morrison underneath. Can't quite get it. Rebound. Thrill kill. And here's Beckett Bailey. We'll give our sponsors one more quick read as we're going in here. And. Uh, Shot off, rebound, Hazen. Uh, you're watching uh, Hazen Union Wildcat Basketball on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Applications now open for any GMTCC programs. we got a ton of them down there. One minute left to go in the game. You want to do culinary arts, you want to do HVAC, you want to do uh, allied health, you want to do automotive, automotive technology, you can do it all on uh, GMTCC. My daughter Lydia going down there for business, she loves it. Foul called with 52.2 left. The foul is called on Santino DiMartino. Jerkowitz off on his first free throw. Rattles the second one in. Forty-four point five left to go in the game. Gavin Stratton with Bailey on him. Gets it over Ryan Morrison. Jerkowitz over to Morgan Mitchell. Drop inside. Mitchell can't get that one to go. Fighting for it underneath. The ball goes out of bounds. He's going to give it to Linden with 18.7 left. With your score, 87-46. It was kind of close. The first quarter was, was, was close. It was good. Then we kind of just... Really started clicking there in a second and have been clicking ever since. And uh, great effort, outstanding effort here by the Cats. Linden's played well. And once again, I'll give Linden total props on the free throw shooting. Great free throw shooting team. Four seconds left. Two, one. And we're going to call it a game at that. And your final score is 87-46 as your Cats push the record to 8-1. and one. Once again, uh, we'll be back Friday night when the Cats will host Har Harwood. Uh, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide on our at www.hctv.us. Standing on camera, we'll see you Friday night. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.